I have bad genetics, and that's why I'm not making muscle and strength gains. This is a common phrase that you hear in the fitness community, and honestly, whenever I hear it, I feel disgusted. I feel disgusted to the fact that guys are not owning up to what the real issues are. Because it can't be that everybody has bad genetics. That is just impossible. Last I checked, hard gainers or people who have an extremely difficult time gaining size and strength are outliers. And let me tell you something, you never use an outlier to represent a widespread of data. That is statistically insignificant, okay? You cannot do this. So how is it possible that you have all these guys in the comment section saying, I have bad genetics, I have bad genetics, really? It can't be that common, it doesn't make sense. So then, I wanna ask you guys a very important question. Is it your bad genetics that is limiting your gains or is it the fact that you're running a shitty program? Because usually, man, the truth, most guys do not know how to train. And that's just the reality of things. They're going on the internet, they're typing in a best chest workout. And then they're just following some random uh, bodybuilding split that probably some enhanced guy's running and they're copying it. And then, then they're running it for years and they're wondering why they're not making gains. Uh, let me tell you, it's not because you have bad genetics. It's because your program is fucking shit. Your program is terrible. So stop with this cop-out stuff. Stop blaming your genetics. And, and I'm, I'm going to give you a personal example here, right? Uh, for me, my deadlifts... I've always been fucking terrible. I always had a very hard time deadlifting because of my terrible leverages, okay? I have a long torso, short arms, short femurs. So when I do a deadlift, my body goes into a pen lay row position, which gives me really, really bad leverages. That said, uh, for years, I came up with excuses. I said I was never going to be a top puller. And in fact, I thought that 500 pounds was going to be my genetic limit, right? So that's what I mentally set myself to do. And of course, I had several plateaus, but always plateaus in, uh, in the 400s. And I would just blame my genetics. I would say, oh, it's because I'm short. I have bad leverages. That's why I can't make deadlift gains. But little did I realize that it was not my terrible leverages that was causing the problems. It was the fact that I was running terrible programs. I kept running linear systems with few accessory work, uh, did not do direct posture chain work, did not do a lot of specific movements that built my deadlift, and my volume and intensity was not being correctly managed. So yeah, you can argue that my leverages were not good for poles, but the moment I corrected my training, my strength shot up right away, and I eventually ended up pulling 585 without a belt. And let me tell you, I never thought that I was going to pull 585 in my entire life. I never even dreamed of doing such a, a lift. I thought it was fucking impossible to do. But you see, the fact that I said I have bad genetics put me in a negative spiral. It fucked up my mind. It fucked up my standards. And you see, this is what a lot of you guys are doing. You're setting limitations on yourself that are not real. I'm serious. You are comparing yourself to average gym bros that have terrible fucking results. And I'll tell you something about average gym bros, man. Most of them can build a very good physique. Go to your gym right now. I'm going to say over 90% of them are weak as fuck, small as fuck. Is it because they all have bad genetics? Really, is it because every single guy who goes to the fucking gym, over 90% has bad genetics, or it's because they don't train properly? Seriously, use your common sense here. It cannot be that over 90% of the population is so fucking weak and small. It can't be. How come a guy like me, who was 120 pounds, a fucking skinny gamer nerd, built, uh, built a great physique, that you have guys that are, they, they had normal puberty, normal muscle mass, normal height, they can't gain muscle, really? Why the fuck is that the case? You know why? It's because they're running bullshit systems. They're going on the bodybuilding forms. They're copying these terrible routines. Stop. Stop with that, man. Learn from a real strength and conditioning professional. Hire a coach if you have to. Look at proven programs that athletes use and run them. Okay, stop with these fucking splits, man. Either run a full body, upper, lower, push, pull, but run something that is periodized. Run something that works for strength, okay? And I promise you that you're going to start making gains. You see, I've had a number of people that had like four or five years, even more, of training experience, right? And then they run my novice program, and in four months, they bust through all the plateaus, and they're getting jacked. Go in the comments section of the page if you want to see proof. And it's a free program, by the way. So what, what was it? It's the fact that they had bad genetics for four years, and then suddenly they run my program, and they fucking explode? No, man. It's called they weren't doing things properly. And that's what too many guys are doing. And that is also why the strength standards are so fucking low. I'm going to tell you something, guys. What you can do naturally, strength-wise, is very impressive. You can do so many things without taking drugs. It's the fact that you limit yourself to a major extent. Most of you can pull 500 pounds or more on the deadlift without drugs. I swear to God, you could. You fucking could. Same for your bench press. You can hit over 275, 315 on the bench if you train long enough. And what do I consider long enough? Five to ten years, okay? Stop thinking that you're going to be Mr. Universe after one to two years of training. 
A lot of you guys don't have enough experience, and that's why you're not making gains. It takes fucking time. I've been building this body for almost eight years now, man. I think it's been seven and a half, eight years, okay? I'm not stopping, and I'm still fucking making gains, okay? All you guys training two, three years, that's not enough, bro. You need a lot of fucking time. Some guys take some 20 years to build a physique. This is a journey. This is a lifestyle. It takes time, and you can't just use a genetic excuse. You can't just use that as a fucking cop-out when, in fact, most of you run shit programs, it was the same thing for me in my overhead press. How come I have hyper mobile elbows, zero on 10, poverty fucking leverages, yet I hit 225 strict. When I was doing a 185 overhead press, I was already benching the 300s. Some of you guys are not even benching in the 300s, yet you're overhead pressing the 200s. So who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Th think about it. I did 225 with shit genetics. So who are you? You could probably do it too, man. Stop setting limitations that are fucking pathetic, that are fucking bullshit. Periodize your program, learn from real strength and conditioning experts, and make some gains. I'm tired of guys blaming their genetics. I'm fucking, I'm fed up of it, okay? How about you get some real experience under your belt, 5, 10 years of experience, and then see if you have bad genetics. And if you do, you'll, you'll notice. You'll notice if you have certain areas. Like for me, I have bad arm genetics, right? But that won't stop me from trying to grow them. Right now, I've been doing a lot of weighted dips, so overhead extensions, uh, lots of uh, gymnastic stuff. And guess what? My arms are finally growing. I see them. They're noticeably getting bigger. So even though I may not have good genetics, with proper programming, you can overcome, you can overcome it. Now, you're not going to overcome it to extent that it'll be your best body power or whatever. But you know what? That could happen in some cases. But you can still make excellent gains. Imagine I if I would have used a genetic excuse uh, two years ago in my traps, saying, oh, I have terrible trap genetics. That's why I'll never be yoked. Well, you would have never seen the birth of rack pulls above the knee, cheat rows, uh, Power shrugs and neck work. Yet this is what I needed to correct my problem, you see. For years I blamed my genetics. For years I blamed all kinds of things. When in fact it was my fucking training style. And you know what? Maybe my bad arms is a result of bad training style too. Maybe I'll give myself six months and see if my training now is correcting it. But the point is, stop using it as a cop-out. Alright? You can do a lot naturally. You really could. You can be an amazing overhead presser, an amazing deadlifter, an amazing squatter, an amazing bencher. Shoot your standards high. I'm serious. I'm serious, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope this motivated you. I hope that you learned something. Give me your feedback down below. And with that, I will talk to you all next time.